Alrighty, let's begin Vinyasa 2. Um, come to child's pose. You are amazing, Andrea, with those weights, I tell ya. He's <laughs> still going. Okay. We'll bring our arms forward. Just kind of settle the hips back towards the knees, uh, the hips back towards the heels. I hope you can hear me. I feel a little bit far away today, but we'll see how we go. But if, um, if the music's distracting or if you can't hear me, just type it in the chat box. I'll turn that down a little bit. Okay, so just lay the forehead down. Just kind of settle the hips back, reach the arms forward. Sometimes I like to move a little bit from side to side, just to release and settle. And just begin to drink in all the feelings and good sensations that you get from your yoga practice. With this being a level two, I'm really confident anyone um, doing this has you know, a good knowledge of what works for them. So using me, I'm your teacher, but also there's that little quiet voice inside, the gut feelings, the urges, go with that as well. And really feel the back of your body as you breathe in. Relax your shoulders and let the head be heavy as you breathe out. And look high up onto the fingertips. If you're on the pads, the thumbs and the fingers. Press them down, wrap the triceps down and pull the shoulders down the back. One more breath in. Relax the arms down. Then inhale, come up to all fours. Stack the knees under the hips, float the chest forward. Exhale, pull the tummy in, draw the tailbone down. Inhale, float the chest forward. Exhale, pull the tummy in. Inhale. Exhale. This time as we breathe in, we're going to take the right leg back and the left arm forward. Pause for a moment as you firm the right arm. Lift the right leg until you feel a little squeeze in the butt and the hamstring. Hold. Exhale, bring your right knee to your left elbow in front of you. Intact. Inhale, extend. Take the right leg back, but lift it up a little bit. Exhale, pull it in and tap. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, keep the right arm long. And then take the left arm behind you, bend the right knee, grab foot or ankle. And then kick back, lift up. Inhale. Keep your gaze steady for balance. Just notice how you pick that leg up. Then kick it. Beyond that point of ease. Exhale, palm and knee down. Inhale, lift the chest, look up. Exhale, round. This time as you breathe in, take the left leg back and the right arm forward. Pause. Notice how you moved it to that point of ease, probably that point of naturalness. And lift that leg a little higher. Exhale, elbow to knee, tap. Inhale, extend. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale. 
Bend the left knee, take right arm behind you. Find fluid, smooth movement. Gaze forward slightly. Breathe. Exhale, palm and knee down. One more breath in here as you float the chest forward. We'll come into our first downward facing dog of the day. Enjoy. And again, just notice the sensations of your body. When you feel a sensation, just go there. You might want to move. Uh, create some movement, and stretch out the calves. You might feel this urge to be still. Stick your feet together. Raise your right leg, inhale. And cross it behind the left. Exhale, spin your heels to the left. Fill up the right side of your body, lift your hips. Enjoy a few breaths here. Inhale, spin to center, kick your right leg up. Exhale, place it beside the left. Other side, inhale. Cross it behind the right, bring your heels to the right. Exhale. Lift your hips up. And come to center, inhale, lift the left leg high, look towards your hands, step that foot forward between the hands, exhale. Come to an easy standing split, so lift your right leg, look forward, pause for a moment as you feel the left leg, just kind of find its grounding, big toe down, arch lifted, one more breath in, step right foot to meet the left and fold, exhale. Rise to stand. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Bring your hands into your heart center. Exhale. Float the arms high. Inhale. Fold forward over your legs. Exhale. Raise your left leg. Inhale, look forward. Pause for a moment here. Breathe. Lift a little higher, float the chest forward, step to lunge, exhale. Step to plank, inhale. Bend the elbows, exhale. Rise, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Raise your left leg, inhale. Step it behind the right and spin the heels to the right, exhale. Keep the left leg high, come to centre, inhale. And step it next to the right, exhale. Right leg high, inhale. Cross it behind the left, spin the heels to the left, exhale. Keep the right leg high, inhale, look towards your hands. And step it forward between the hands, exhale. Easy standing split, lift up, inhale. So easy standing split, really just work at getting the uh, left leg to hip height, float the chest forward, and you just want to find that place where you can feel the bones stacking on top of each other, creating a little bit of strength. Hmm. Exhale, step and fold. Inhale, rise to stand, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Reach up again, inhale. Fold forward over your legs, exhale. Raise the right leg, inhale, pause for a moment. Breathe, gaze forward slightly. Get high up onto fingertips. Step to lunge, exhale. Step to plank, inhale. Lower, exhale. Rise, and roll back over those toes, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths there. I'm just going to go and turn my heat down a little bit. It's getting hot and higher.
Okay. Raise the right leg, inhale. Step behind the left and spin the heels to the left, exhale. Take the right leg high, inhale. Step it forward between the hands, exhale. I know we're doing twice on one side, it's okay. It'll work its way out. Standing splits, inhale. Step and fold, exhale. Rise to stand, inhale. Lift up, lean back. Fold forward, exhale. Raise the right leg, inhale, look forward. Step to lunge, exhale. To plank, one, push up. Lower the elbow height and rise up again. Keep the front body firm. Lower, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Keep the flow, raise the left leg, inhale. Cross it behind the right, spin the heels to the right, exhale. Kick the left leg high, inhale. Step it forward between the hands, exhale. Standing splits, inhale. Step and fold, exhale. Rise, inhale. Fold, exhale. Raise your left leg, inhale. Step, exhale. Plank, inhale. Lower, exhale. Up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Woo, catch your breath. Enjoy. Okay, we're going to raise our right leg. Inhale. Step it forward between the hands. Exhale. Coming into warrior one. Rise up. Very nice. Woo. Still hot in here. Okay, so keep working left heel down. Take a deep breath in. You're gonna stick the butt out as you fold forward over a right straight leg. Float the chest forward, inhale. And fold in a little deeper, exhale. We'll just pause for a moment as we give that hamstring a moment to release. Ah. Gonna gaze forward, inhale. And fold, exhale as we come to extended standing split. So shift the weight to the right foot, look forward. This time we're gonna start to fold into the right leg. So as you fold down, kick the left leg higher. You can use your right arm to help pull your body in. Breathe. As we breathe in, we're gonna take a little bend in the right knee, rise up to stand, and bring the left knee up to the chest. Hands to heart, pause, find your balance. And as we breathe out, we're gonna kick the left leg straight. Isn't this fun? Oh, there's some feet in the camera shot, lovely. Stand up tall, inhale, Virabhadrasana three. Kick the leg back behind you, reach the arms forward, use your big toe for balance. And just sense your shoulders lowering to hip height. Feel those little wobbles, finding your balance. One more deep breath in here. As we breathe out, we did this in the last vinyasa too. You're gonna to bring hands to heart, bend the right knee and tuck the left knee behind it. Hold, breathe. Warrior three, inhale, just one of these. And as we breathe out, we're gonna sit all the way down, slide the left knee behind the right, coming into your seat. Raise your left arm as you shift the weight into the right hip, inhale, and twist to the right. Take a moment here to catch your breath. Sit up a little taller and rotate just a little bit more. Big breath in, exhale, gently unwind and twist the other way. And 
Now as we breathe in, we're going to unwind and bring your arms forward and both feet in front of you, coming into boat. So start with bent knees if you need. You see there's a little round in my back. Lift the chest, get the back flat, and then start to straighten the legs if you're going to do so. You're going to feel strength in the tummy, maybe a bit of strength in the front of the legs. Start to raise the arms, exhale. Come halfway down, inhale. Hold. Come up, exhale. Cross the feet underneath you, come forward to plank, inhale. Lower Chaturanga, exhale. Up dog. And downward facing dog. Oh, enjoy a few breaths. Here, we're just in a one. Raise your left leg, inhale. Step it forward between the hands, exhale. I'm not up. Next one. One more big breath in. Then stick the butt out as you lead with the chest and fall forward. Take a breath in to lift the front of your body, wriggle the tummy forward, then exhale, deliver it further down the thigh. One more big breath in here. Exhale, go a little deeper. Standing splits, inhale, shift the weight into the left foot, Lift the right leg, so at least hip height if you can, and then start to fold into the left leg. I like to use my arm to help me. Just remember that you don't want to really focus all on folding into the standing leg and leave that lifted leg slack. Give the lifted leg some energy. So sink just a little bit into left knee. Get the big toe pressing down. Inhale, come up. Bring your right knee into your chest, hands to heart. Exhale, straighten that leg. I'm not sure if anyone likes this one. I don't. Whew. Inhale, Vira Bhadrasana, three. One more breath in here. Exhale, hands to heart, bend left knee, tuck right knee behind it, hold. We want our concentration, our strength, our stability, our will. Inhale, Vira Bhadrasana, three. Exhale, sit down, slide right knee all the way behind you. And as you raise the right arm, shift the weight into the left sit bone. Exhale, twist to the left. So you can also use that hand behind you to just rock yourself forward slightly as you lift the chest and then rotate a little bit more. Really nice to get into those tight back muscles. It can be difficult to stretch out. So when we're anchoring the hips and rotating, we get a little bit further up the body. Then rotate all the other way. Boat. Inhale, unwind. You might have to wriggle yourself back to the center and lift up. So just find the pose that works your tummy, not just the big, strong quad muscles. Keep 
the tummy pulling in, back flat, chest open. Exhale, raise the arms to that point where you feel the body quiver. Inhale, come halfway down. Hold, breathe, feel the burn. Exhale, come up. Inhale, plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, so we're gonna put it together in flow. As you know, this is where I like to crank up the music if we were in the studio. Um, so feel free to make sure that it's a track you love, that the music is pumping, that your energy is flowing. And let's put it together. Raise the right leg, inhale. Step the foot forward between the hands, exhale. Virabhadrasana one, inhale. Stick the butt out as you fall forward, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Fold, exhale. Standing splits, inhale. Stabilize the right foot as you fold into the right leg, exhale. A little bend in the right knee brings you up. Inhale, bring your left knee to your chest, hands to heart. Inhale, Virabhadrasana three. Oh, excuse me, my bad. Eh. Straighten the leg, exhale. Inhale, Virabhadrasana three. Bring your shoulders to hip height. Exhale, bend the right knee, tuck the left knee behind it. Find your balance and your concentration. Virabhadrasana three again. Inhale. Have a seat. Slide the left knee all the way behind the right. Exhale. And you're going to raise the left arm, sit up tall, inhale, twist to the right, exhale. Unwind, reach the arm up, inhale, and drop over to the left, exhale. Boat, inhale, you might have to adjust yourself, bring the feet forward, raise the arms, exhale. Halfway down, inhale. Come up again, exhale. Plank. Inhale, chaturanga, exhale, upward dog, inhale, downward facing dog, exhale, take a moment here to breathe, I'm going to turn my heat down again, Whew. off I should say. Raise your left leg, inhale, set the foot, exhale. Virabhadrasana, one, inhale, fold, exhale, halfway up, inhale, and fold, standing splits, inhale, fold into the left leg, exhale, come to stand, inhale, bring the knee to the chest and then straighten that leg forward, exhale, Virabhadrasana, three, inhale, Bend and tuck, exhale. Come up again, inhale. Come all the way down, exhale. Slide the right knee behind the left and as you raise the right arm, you shift the weight into the left hip. Twist to the left, exhale. Unwind, reach up, inhale. And drop over to the left, exhale, the right, exhale. Come to center, inhale. Straighten your legs forward. Wiggle yourself back onto the mat and raise the arms, exhale. Halfway down, inhale. Rise up again, exhale. Through the vinyasa, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, down the facing dog. So take a moment here to recover. Down dog or child's pose for about half a minute. <sighs> Beautiful. And if you're down, come up. 
Firm those palms into the mat. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, bring your elbows to the mat, coming into dolphin. Lift your hips nice and high. Wrap the side ribs down towards the front midline of the body. Hold here. Keep lifting the hips up and back. And as you breathe in, see if you can do a five downs at the same time. If, you, if not, just remember which one you lift up first and come back to down dog. Inhale. Lower the elbows down. Exhale. Either both at the same time or the other one first. Inhale. Twice more. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Hold in your down dog. Exhale. I'm going to do one more flow. Same sequence. Right leg lifts. Inhale. Step. Exhale. Warrior one. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Halfway up. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Standing splits. Inhale. Fold into the right leg and hold. Exhale. So you can use one arm wrapped around the leg. Remember to keep the lifted leg strong. Maybe work on balance by bringing the other hand to that standing leg. And then inhale, come up. Bring your left knee to your chest. Hands to your heart. Exhale, straighten the leg forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, bend and tuck. Inhale, up. Exhale, sit. Left arm reaches up as you shift the right hip down. Exhale, twist to the right. Okay, we're gonna pause here for a moment. I'm gonna spin myself around. I'm going to work on coming into an arm balance. So keep the left elbow, I'm not mirroring today, um, it was spun around. So keep your left elbow outside the right knee. And then you're going to start to lift up your hips and plant your hands beside you. So there's um, the, the, the beginner kind of cheap way is to take this right elbow. I know it looks like it's, I'm not mirroring, but it's my right. Uh, so sorry, it will be, yeah, you're right. Bring it to the right hip. And then lift up your feet. As you get a little bit stronger, it's a little less awkward, you can keep that right hip free. Did you get up? <laughs> Nice one. Come on, Andrea. I know you got up. Nice one, Dario. All right, have a seat. And twist the other way. Exhale. Come to centre. Inhale. Bring your arms forward and your feet. Raise the arms. Exhale. Halfway down. Inhale. Come up again, exhale, slow, inhale to plank, exhale lower, inhale up dog, exhale, pull back into down dog. Ah. Alrighty, leg leg lifts, inhale, step, exhale. Warrior one, inhale, fold, exhale, halfway up, inhale, fold, exhale, standing splits, inhale, and fold in as you pause, exhale, maybe taking a little deeper, maybe working on balance, Inhale, rise, bring right knee to chest. Whoa. 
Exhale, straighten the leg forward. Inhale, warrior three. Whoa. Exhale, bend and tap. Inhale, up. Exhale, all the way down. Raise right arm as you shift the weight to the left. Inhale, and twist to the left. Exhale. So some of you will stay here. Otherwise, we're going to work on our arm balance. Okay. So keeping the right elbow hooked on the left knee, you lift your hips up and plant the other hand. Have a bit of fun. You can start to split the legs when you feel com comfortable and confident. One side's off a little bit different to the other. Cool. Alrighty, so sit down if you're still up and twist the other way. Exhale. And then come to center for our boat pose. Inhale. Raise the arms. Exhale. Maybe straighten the leg. Halfway down. Inhale. Hold. All the way down to the floor. Yay. Bring your feet together. Knees wide. And hang out here. Mmm. Bring your feet to the floor. Bring your arms beside you. And lift up to bridge pose. So lift your hips. Tuck the shoulders underneath you. And just a very gentle squeeze of the inner thighs to draw, to stop the knees from splaying. And then lift your hips a little higher till you feel a little squeeze in the bottom, and maybe the hamstrings. Bring up the chest. Strengthening the back of the body. And then exhale, slowly come down and bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a wee hug. Okay, and we're going to rock and roll up to sitting. So just a few of these back and forth. And come all the way up. Sit and bring your palms to the mat behind you. So we'll try Pavottanasana with straight legs, but if it doesn't work for you with straight legs, you can bend your knees. So your fingers face forward, your palms are beside you, excuse me, behind you. And just slide the heel back a little bit so that when you lift your hips up, you can bring the toes to the floor. Okay, so if this doesn't work for you, bend your knees. This is another strengthener for the backs of the legs. A chest and front shoulder opener. Hold, lift a little higher, inhale. And then exhale, very gently release your hips down. As you breathe in, wiggle the hips back, reach the arms up. As you breathe out, lead with the tummy and the chest as you fold forward over your legs. Inhale, float the chest forward. Wiggle your tummy further forward, down the thighs, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, place the palms behind you, Kavottanasana. Inhale, lift up and hold. Lift higher. Breathe smooth, even breaths. Exhale, place the hips down. Wiggle your butt back. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift the chest. Float the tummy further down the thighs. And then exhale, fold. 
Last one, rise all the way up, inhale. Place the hands behind you, exhale. Pagottanasana, inhale. Hold. Exhale, place the hips down, wiggle the hips back. Reach the arms up, inhale. Fold, exhale. Lift your chest, inhale. Wiggle the tummy forward and fold. And come all the way up. Inhale, reach the arms up, back into downward facing dog. Exhale. I know, you're going, what? I thought we were done. We're not. Surprise. Okay, so actually come down because this one, it does need a bit of demonstrating. Because if you have any back issues, I would be very mindful about this one. And we're going to utilize the um, opening of the hamstrings and the strength of the legs. And we've also kind of warmed up the back of the body as well. Um, so I always find it hard to demonstrate when I'm on camera because I'm not sure which way is going to work for you guys. But, um, well, I'll just do it. So we're going to bring the right leg forward. Exhale. We're going to come into our standing splits. Inhale. We're going to fold. Halfway up. Place left foot down. Exhale. Bend right knee and lift the heel. Inhale. Interlace your fingers underneath the arch. Exhale. And now you're going to re-strengthen this left leg by bending the knee. If you want to take it kind of easy, you'll come up with your right thigh on the front of the body with a bent knee. And then you could start to straighten it. If you want to work on a stronger variation, You'll bend the left knee, keep the right leg straight, and come up with a straight leg. So that's where you just want to be mindful of your back. And I can see I'm just trying to not stuff it up for you guys. And then we'll do that. Okay, so come into down dog. Somebody already did it. Who was that hardcore person, Daria? Okay, come into down dog. <sighs> Take a moment. Raise your right leg, inhale. Step, exhale. Standing splits, inhale, look forward. Fold, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Set the left foot to meet the right, exhale. Bend the right knee as you lift the heel, inhale. Interlace fingers under the arch of the foot, exhale, bend the left knee. Inhale, stand up. Now work the left leg straight. Working the right leg straight is not compulsory, so don't get too caught up in that. Hands to hips, exhale. And then come to stand. Whew. Take a moment to recover. Or maybe that's just that I need a moment to recover. Bend your knees, chair pose, inhale. Twist to the right, exhale. Chair pose, inhale, unwind, keep the knees bent. Fold, exhale. Halfway up, inhale. Take, skip, float, chaturanga, whatever. Make your way to down dog. The shortcut way or the scenic way. <sighs> leg, leg lifts, inhale. Step, exhale. Standing splits, inhale, fold, exhale. Ooh, halfway up, inhale, <laughs> forgot what we were doing. <laughs> Set the right foot next to the left, exhale. Bend left knee, lift the heel, interlace fingers, shift and stand, inhale. 
So notice how my knee is bent. See if I can get the standing leg a little straighter. Hands to hip. Come to stand. One final flow. Inhale. Fold, exhale. Bend your knees, chair pose. Inhale. Twist to the left. Exhale. Chair pose. Inhale. Fold, exhale. Flat back, inhale. Your choice, how you get there, the long way or the short way, down dog, through the vinyasa if you like. And just go back to child's pose. up to dolphin so we did that before with your forearms on the mat lift your hips up so if you feel quite stable here and that your hips are lifting walk your feet in a little bit keep pushing your body towards the back of the mat for a little bit more raise the right leg keep lifting and lengthening Right leg down, exhale. Left leg lifts, inhale. Left leg down, exhale. Right leg lifts, inhale. And start to lift up onto the left toes. Lift your hips high. Look towards your hands or between your forearms. Some of you might like to take little hops. Otherwise, take right leg down. Keep lifting up and back, left leg lifts. And then lift up onto the right toes, start to look forward. And you just might feel like this draw to hop. You may not. <laughs> nice, Catherine. and then come to child's pose. I promise you don't have to get up again. <laughs> Make your way to your back. So if you feel like you're ready to rest, take, um, you know what? Actually, come up again. I was going to do back bends, but I don't think we will. I think we'll work on opening the fronts of the legs. So if you, so we're going to do half um, hero with the right leg behind you. And typically, a lot of people will need to lay on something. So use a pillow. If you've got a bolster at home, use a bolster. Whatever you may need to support you. Um, otherwise you can do it, you've got blocks, you can use blocks. Um, otherwise you can do it without support, just lay down. So you can have a back bend here, as long as your lower back feels happy and your tailbone is lengthening forward. If you're very flexible, then you may come down with a flatter back. Um, and like I said, many people, even in level two, 
like to do this with support underneath their back. So um, choose. Now your right foot is behind you. You could bring your left foot to the floor. This can take pressure off the lower back, but it can also increase the stretch in the right leg. Lay back and enjoy the rewarding rest. I'm just going to lean over to the left to free your right leg. And just bring the legs forward, lay, or you might like to have the feet together, knees wide. So you can come into the other side. Um, some of you may feel like it's fairly easy to just fold the left leg behind you. If it's not, come up and then come back with your left leg. If you feel that there's compression, come up, roll your thigh inwards and your calf outwards and that will um, take care of that.
world away from the language is behind you. Bring it forward again. Legs long, all feet together, whatever works for you. Just feel less. Basically, in yoga, we take our body off its perceived centre. Um, and then when it bounces back, it comes to what is a more balanced place. Our status quo, our balance point, uh, it's more aligned. So taking these kind of moments of neutral, neutrality, uh, meditation are important, not to be missed. I am going to give you the opportunity to do one strong back bend wheel. It is completely up to you. If you are feeling amazing, stay here. In fact, you could even go into an early Shavasana if you want. Um, if you want to do one full wheel, that could flush out excess energy. Um, it could, for me, it, I, I feel I can literally feel like I can breathe more after wheel, it's such a chest opener. Um, if you're not ready for Shavasana and you don't want wheel, just take the um, twist that I almost always finish with. So for those of you who are moving into wheel, you will have probably done it before. Feet parallel from the outer edges, palms flat by the ears. You can come onto the top of the head first if that helps. Otherwise, just lift up. If you're coming out of wheel, bring your knees into your chest if that feels okay. May, if you haven't already done so, or you're not in Shavasana already, I will often like to finish with a twist. It balances our energy, realigns left and right, yin and yang, ida and mandala. Just the other way if you haven't yet done so. way to rest. to wake up. 
on the screen. Make your way up to sitting. And just sit. We become attuned again with balanced feelings of your body, knowing that one practice, even years of practice, doesn't eradicate um, all the things that we don't want. It allows us to be more accepting, comfortable in our own skin. So feeling that connection to all of you. Grateful because you are strong and capable and healthy to have completed this class with me. If you're doing this today, grateful for the beautiful day that we have ahead of us, the sunshine. Grateful for your families, your friends. Maybe just counting your own personal blessings. Bringing us into this clear state we can see clearly. We have access to all the positivity and all that is good inside of us. This is what we then share and we put out into the world. We put out that which is good. We shine our lights. So that's how we teach, through the way we carry ourselves. And those who choose to see it, those who are ready to see it, those who vibrate with that will see it. The other stuff we bring to our practice, to our sadhana, to our mat, to study, to help us become wiser, stronger, more resilient, have greater empathy and compassion for others. This is our work. Palms together in front of the heart in the sacred gesture of recognition. Beyond our differences, beyond our individual beliefs, the core of it all, we are one. Remembering that as we see others today. Namaste. Thanks so much, guys. Last online. Wonderful to see you guys. I know I'm going to see all the faces that I can see. Um, at some stage soon, hopefully next week. Um, morning classes, probably I suggest you book. Um, the other classes, you should be fine. We are um, going to be social distancing. I'm going to mark up the studio right now. It's my next job. But that's still 21 people, I think. So we'll be fine. Oh, that's we'll great. Next week, those triceps are going to be looking amazing soon. <laughs> All of that weight lifting. Oh. oh, thank you. I'm away till Thursday night, but anyway, I'll try and make Friday. I'll book now. Okay, well, I'll be here. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye